I was like, I don't care. I just need my refund. guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here my name is maria or it's mj here on youtube if it's your first time stumbling across this channel my name is maria once again and we discuss fragrances a lot on this channel from hauls to reviews to new in declutters all that stuff all things fragrances and if you're a returning subscriber well thank you so much for coming back i'm gonna start off in literally no particular order actually no i was gonna do no particular order but i'm gonna start off with the most exciting and for transparency purposes, um, all these fragrances that I'm going to be discussing today were gifted to me except for one and uh, it's the one that I'll start off with. But as always, it really doesn't matter to me. If you're familiar with my channel, if it's sponsored, gifted, not PR, whatever it is, uh, my opinion is my opinion and it really doesn't matter. It's, it's your loss if you decide to send me something and you don't end up liking what I say about it. So. This is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme and if you're familiar with my channel and my taste you know that I am not a fan of Tom Ford except as of recently I got Black Orchid of uh, the gold bottle the Parfum version I just don't know where that one is because because I moved and I wore it to work one day and my guy co-worker really enjoyed it and I told him about it and I was like you know what as a matter of fact I'm gonna bring it so I brought it to work uh, so he can test it out and after that I really don't remember like what happened to it I got that one which was <laughs> like surprising because i cannot stand black orchid like at all but i smelled the new one and it smells very similar to black orchid like extremely similar but it's a little bit more sweet a tiny bit um and it's a little bit more chocolatey and it still definitely has the black orchid dna but for some reason i ended up liking it i actually ended up liking it more than Angel's share like I remember I was wearing Angel's share once and that one kind of just felt flat for me and I ended up applying black orchid on top because it felt more powerful and I wanted to feel more powerful but anyways after that since I knew that my taste has changed then I really wanted to revisit this fragrance because I had the worst experience with this fragrance this was one of the first fragrances that I bought when I started my fragrance journey I bought it for myself for my birthday literally when I graduated I got alien I got good girl and and I had black opium and this was one of them that I got as well and I returned it <laughs> I thought that it smelled like baby formula like spoiled milk it smelled so bad and I had the worst time at work because I sprayed my wrist and I just kept smelling it but my nose was just I guess not accustomed to unique fragrances and fragrances this distinct so i did not appreciate it at all and i literally thought that like the fragrance had gone bad and that's when i had first discovered fragrance net and i contacted them and i was like y'all gave me an expired perfume i need a refund <laughs> and i was like i checked uh check fresh batch or whatever and this perfume is expired and they were like oh i don't recommend for you to go on that and blah blah blah, blah. i was like i don't care i just need my refund so <laughs> i got my refund and then after that i went to sephora to smell this to see if it smelled just like the fragrance net one and lord and behold it sure did so the fragrance net perfume was never expired my nose was just not accustomed to a fragrance that unique that different and that special so i definitely did not appreciate it and then this year i was like well my taste obviously changed i need to revisit it so i went back to it and it smells so good it smelled so good and it was so special to me that i wore it for my jewelry um, launch party and y'all like it's so this fragrance is so sexy like this has been described a lot as a spicy cheesecake and i finally get that reference it just smells sexy spicy creamy delicious yummy it does not smell like perfume i can't tell you guys how obsessed i am with this fragrance literally it is currently on my top five right now it just smells so good i highly recommend though because of my experience with it to definitely sample it go to sephora smell it before you buy it because my experience with it was so polarizing it went from complete disgust to absolutely top five sexy five like top 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 fragrances of all time in my perfume collection this smells so damn good okay next fragrance that i have here is from the house of siage and this is benevolence should have looked up how to pronounce the name at first but 
that is the fragrance right there um these cupcakes are very popular i think it looks beautiful and it sits beautiful but for me i do enjoy more minimalistic uh bottle so i've never really not gonna lie been like super intrigued in the design itself but they are extremely bougie i'm not gonna lie like it sits pretty next to my nightstand and it clearly looks like quality and it looks extremely expensive especially in person i think it looks more expensive in person than it does on camera i will say that this is the little rhinestones that it has and it does not look cheap at all and it definitely has some weight to it now as soon as i smelled this fragrance instantly i had not looked up the notes it was just first impression and everything because i did not know which fragrance i was going to get they were just going to send me anything really so i was like okay cool so when i got it first impression i did not look up the notes like i said and instantly what hit me was love don't be shy like i smelled it and i was like this literally smells like love don't be shy then i looked at the notes and i saw this was highly voted to smell like love don't be shy and i was like i knew it like it it smells like it especially in the first blast so i wore it and i was not impressed with the performance you guys know also it has a little signature there so i just wanted to mention that another thing is i'm gonna try to find the box but this comes in a super bougie box like it opens up and all that i'm sure you guys have seen the packaging of these bottles before but i will try to find it um if not then there's literally like a bunch of unboxings of this house but super bougie packaging but i can't think i, I think i got rid of it already i'm not sure i wore it to work i love to test out my fragrances to work because i work from eight five six so you know it's a long work schedule so i tested it out to work and i was like i was kind of disappointed but this felt pretty soft you know like someone had to hug me to smell it which is not bad or someone had to be around my area to smell me but very close proximity to me which is not bad at all however these are expensive bottles and i think any fragrance that is 150 plus needs to be top performing sorry not sorry i don't have it like that and even if i did i would feel terrible to suggest a fragrance to someone that maybe doesn't have it like that and yeah it smells delicious but it's not top performing you know what i mean so i think soft fragrances are completely fine especially if you're going to bed or you're netflix and chilling you know soft fragrances are great for that but are a lot of soft fragrances that you do not have to spend a lot of money and even in the niche realm of things there are soft fragrances you do not have to spend a lot of money so i was underwhelmed and unimpressed with this then i wore it again and my job is freezing well sometimes it's super hot and other times it's super cold this one day in particular it was super cold and i had on a sweater and i actually did not spray a lot at all that day i think i sprayed like two to three spritz and it was in my um sweater and around here and i smelled myself the whole shift so for me personally i think that this is a fragrance that is not really for the heat definitely going to be a fragrance that i'm going to enjoy more in the cooler time and it's going to be better performing in the cooler time i think it's better than love don't be shy because love don't be shy was pretty much non-existent at all it was skin sense as <laughs> it just was really bad for me performing wise but the opening like i said it's like love don't be shy but not as super sweet it's just a different take on love don't be shy and the dry down however reminds me I'm not gonna say specially like because these are fragrances that I have only smelled in in a whiff or like a while back. You know what I mean? They're not fragrances that I have definitely like played with like that. But the dry down reminded me of something. I'm like, I can't think of the fragrance. I can't think of the fragrance. And then it just came to me. And I wanna say that it reminded me of Burberry Brit or Michael Kors Wonderlust. Those are fragrances, like I said, that I have tested literally just in passing. Something about the dry down of this is so distinct that it reminded me of those fragrances. Because I remember when I smelled those fragrances, they had a very distinct almond musk about them. It's not a super candied, yummy gourmand almond. It's more of a 
dusty musky almond not my favorite dry down at all but i won't say that it really bothers me like that either because it still has that love don't be shy dna in it and my problem with love don't be shy was never the smell of it but it was just the performance of it so with that being said um that's my opinion on it yet i don't think that it's super concrete because i feel like it needs a wear test in the cooler time but it did definitely have better performance in the cooler uh temperature of my workplace all right so that is house of siage benevolence <laughs> y'all i i don't know okay the next one i'm going to share are two old fragrances actually that were sent to me literally like to this day, I have no idea how they have my address because they just sent me fragrances and I was like a little creeped out because I was like, who the hell sent me this with my picture on them? But then I found out that uh, the House of Fragranza, which is a clone dupe house, was sending out fragrances to just other girls and other like, you know, people that create videos on YouTube and stuff. So I was like, okay, well, it's, it's them. I still don't know how they found out my address, but they found my address and I'm very thankful for them. So they sent me, I want to say three i had already bought one from them which was signorina miele which i already used up and that is a clone of uh, miss dior sherry amazing fragrance one of my top fragrances as well i mean obviously i hadn't even had it for a year and i used up the whole bottle it smells so good so rich so sexy so womanly so delicious and extremely extremely good performance Great projection, great longevity, a trail, all that stuff. So look it up, Signorina Miele, delicious. So they sent me uh, Love Whisper, and this is their bottles, and um, with my picture in the back. I remember seeing my picture, and I was like, "Do I need to contact 911? Like, who sent me this?" <laughs> so this is Love Whisper, and <sighs> y'all, I was so impressed by their marketing team or whoever runs their marketing because I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. I was like, wow, these are fragrances that just captivate you and they are extremely affordable. So like, so I just love feminine, sexy fragrances. So let me look up, you wanna continue talking, but it just hits you again and it hits you again. It just lingers on and imagine that was just like what two sprays and it just lingers on imagine if you put it on and you actually overspray yourself and stuff which by the way if you're not an overspray you do not need to overspray these because they have really good performance i just overspray everything but they are really really good quality so this is love whisper like i said and this is a clone of rolling and love it looks like they have a sale going on right now and this is 70 dollars that's the sale that they got going on right now for a 60 ml this is just a creamy floral i was so impressed with the fragrances that they sent to me because they pay attention to detail i love feminine fragrances i love sexy fragrances i love creamy florals and all the ones that they sent me had that aspect. They had that sexiness, they had that feminine touch. Very empowering, it just smelled so good. And with their fragrances, there is not one fragrance that I have tried from them that does not get me a compliment because they are top performing fragrances. I also bought, I forgot, uh, Rivialaire. I think it's one of their, I forgot the name of it, but I think it's one of their own creations and that one smelled like a mojito it was very fresh and it just had like a mojito tropical like vacation vibe to it i ended up giving it to my dad because he ran out of fragrances <laughs> and i have so many that even though sometimes i enjoy my own um if like a family member runs out of a fragrance or if they ask me for a fragrance i'll just give them one of mine and I enjoyed that one, but I was like, oh, I'll just give it to my dad. And he ran through it too, and he asked me to purchase it for him because he really enjoyed that one. And that one is also sweet. It's a creamy, sweet floral. Like, that's the best way that I can describe it. It's super feminine. The next one that I got from them is called Sensual Flame. And it also has my picture on it. Sensual Flame, this is a 60 ml, and it's also right now for $70. And this is a 
inspiration version or clone of Cassili from Parfums de Marly. This one was also like a creamy floral. Yeah. This one has like a peachy, fuzzy undertone. And I don't even think that there's peach in this, but as soon as I smelled it, I was like, this has a peachy, furry undertone. Also, creamy, floral, feminine, sexy. I will say that this one is more flirty than sexy, maybe? Or a little bit more... This gives me brunch vibes. It's just more girly. This one has a more girly vibe, and this one has a more sensual, sexy touch. There's a slight clean vibe about it. I don't know if it's the florals in this, but there's a slight um, soapiness about it. Let me see what it says. It says, Central Flame is a sweet, floral, and fruity plum punch that you just want to drink in. Central Flame transforms into a fruity blend of plum and Bulgarian rose. So that's what I mean. I feel like it has a flirty touch. It's creamy, has that vanilla in there, but it has that soapy, fruity touch. And it's not a clean soapiness, it's like a fruity soapiness. But I will say that I do prefer the one that's um, inspired after Rolling In Love. But I definitely still do like both of them, and I think that they are fairly affordable for the quality that you get because you definitely smell the quality. So the next one that I got is gifted as well. It's the one that I'm most excited to share with you guys. And this was sent to me from uh, the team of Twisted Lily. And let me show you guys how they sent it to me because I was like, this is so cute. It came in this like black um, string packaging and I thought it was super cute. It came with a handwritten note. And I thought that was super cute and adorable since I, you know, package my own um, jewelry boxes now. So I kind of do pay attention, not gonna lie, to small details like that. I just find it super cute and personal. So. I chose Zerjov, um, I'm running a blank right now, Cruz del Sur, <laughs> like I can roll my R's, okay? So Cruz del Sur, uh, two, oh, this looks so good, tell me that does not look good. Super bougie, y'all, like this is top notch, so expensive, and this right here is not paper, y'all, this is like a felt material. Let me show it to you guys up close and personal. So it unveils like so. That's where the fragrance is. And then it has this little pouch right here, which has like a little note. This is like top notch bougie as hell. And this was craved to me first off by a subby friend. She, we were like talking through DM and we were just talking about fragrances obviously. And she was like, you have to try this. I had not heard of it till she mentioned it and I um, looked it up and I was like, oh my god, that looks so good. She said that it smelled like a mango smoothie and I was like, mm, interesting. I don't have any mango fragrances and I love creamy perfumes. So I was like, I have to try it. I definitely have to sample it though because it's an expensive, expensive fragrance and it definitely has to be worth the price. And then I looked it up on YouTube to look up reviews. They There weren't that many when I looked it up, but I saw Aisha's reviews and Aisha... Like, even if I know it's a fragrance that I'm not going to care for or it's my taste per se, she always, always makes me want something. But I was super intrigued um, to try this fragrance. And then when I was talking to Twisted Lily, this is one of the choices that I picked out. This is super expensive, so I'm not going to BS you guys on something. You know, like, I've done videos in the past and even if it's sent to me, like, if it's expensive, then it doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out. But as soon as I smell this, y'all, like, I told my girls, I was like... Oh my god, y'all have to test this out, especially if you are a gourmand lover. Now, I'm not a really gourmand lover. I do enjoy sweet perfumes. All my fragrances have to definitely have some sort of sweetness into it because sweetness to me is super feminine, but I don't enjoy full-on flat gourmands. Like, I don't like to smell like food. I like for them to have some sort of quality, some different component in them, like a floral, a spiciness. It's gotta have something. Like, I just don't wanna smell like full-on food or the inside of a refrigerator, you know what I mean? <laughs> or a supermarket. But this smells like food, <laughs> but it smells so delicious because it doesn't smell like a perfume. It smells so delectable. It smells so good. And this to me is Netflix and chill all the way. Now, I have only tested out a few times and it had pretty good longevity on me. Like it actually stuck to my skin. 
I have not since it's such an expensive perfume I have not sprayed it on my clothes like crazy and since I deliberately wore it for a Netflix and chill I didn't really care about it being on my clothes and I just spray like my warm areas and my pulse areas because you know so you can like do something with the heat and it smelled so delicious like it smells so good it's a creamy mango and it's sweet and it's ripe and it is so so damn delectable it smells so creamy and slightly milky it tastes wow, wow it tastes it just smells so good it smells so good that you want to eat it pretty much so it is a pretty i want to say true gourmand and I'm not a huge gourmand lover, but I definitely enjoyed it and it smelled so good. I was about to say taste again. And honestly, even though it's not huge projecting, it doesn't really leave a trail. It just, the smell of it is so good and so unique and different within my collection that I don't mind the price. I really don't mind the price because it smells so damn good and it sticks to my skin and it does its purpose for what I want it to do. So it is definitely a splurge. I will not say go and grab it. Definitely, you know, test it out because it's it's not, this is a splurge. Um, and it is definitely still expensive. And my take, my ideology where I stand with fragrances that are super expensive is they need to have great longevity, great projection, it just hit all corners. And this one does not hit all corners. But the smell is so good and the fact that I can smell it and I can enjoy it and I know the other person enjoys it, I'm fine with that. That is my take on it. I will say definitely though, sample it because even though it smells amazing, maybe your take on it is not going to be as my take on it. But I definitely, definitely enjoyed it. Like I'm just talking right now and I sprayed it on my wrist and as I move, I can just smell it. So that's what makes me happy. But I made my friend smell it, like I sprayed it on his wrist and <laughs> he texted me and he was like i see why girls be going crazy about these fragrances like this is something that smells really good and he's not a fragrance person but he said that this is something that he would consider buying because it smells so good it has definitely an addictive yummy quality to it so if you can try to get your nose on it even just to sample it just to smell it just to experience it because this is good and this is my only mango fragrance in my collection and i'm super excited and super happy to have given you know gotten the chance to try it so that is um cruz del sur 2 from zershoff and i surprisingly really like this bottle y'all because i'm really picky when it comes to my bottles because i don't like them to be extravagant and stuff and this is bougie and i really like it so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you're not subscribed and you keep coming back, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And as always, I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.